Norton Antivirus, developed and distributed by Simant Corporation, was providing malware prevention and removal during a subscription period. It used signatures and heuristics to identify viruses. Other features included in it were email spam filtering and phishing protection. Simant distributed the product as a download, a box copy, and as OEM's software. Norton Antivirus and Norton Internet Security, a related product, held a 61% U.S. retail market share for security suites as of the first half of 2007. Competitors, in terms of market share in this study, include antivirus products from CA, Trend Micro, and Kaspersky Lab. Norton Antivirus was running on Microsoft Windows and Mac OS X Windows 7 support was in development for versions 2006 through 2008. Version 2009 has Windows 7 supported update already. Versions 2010, 2011, and 2012 all natively support Windows 7, without needing an update. Version 12 is the only version fully compatible with Mac OS X line. With the 2015 series of products, Simant made changes in its portfolio and discontinued Norton Antivirus. Origins In May 1989, Simant launched Simant Antivirus for the Macintosh. SAM 2.0, released March 1990, incorporated technology allowing users to easily update SAM to intercept and eliminate new viruses, including many that didn't exist at the time of the program's release. In August 1990 Simant acquired Peter Norton Computing from Peter Norton. Norton and his company developed various DOS utilities including the Norton Utilities, which did not include antivirus features. Simant continued the development of acquired technologies. The technologies are marketed under the name of Norton, with the tagline from Simant. Norton's crossed arm pose, a registered U.S. trademark, was traditionally featured on Norton product packaging. However, his pose was later moved to the spine of the packaging, and eventually dropped altogether. By early 1991, U.S. computers were invaded by hundreds of foreign virus strains and corporate PC infection was becoming a serious problem. Simant's Norton Group launched Norton Antivirus 1.0 for PC and compatible computers. Ads for the product with suggested retail $129, featured Norton in his crossed arm pose, wearing a pink shirt and surgical mask covering his nose and mouth. With the 1998 version 5.0 update, Sam was renamed Norton Antivirus for Macintosh. Windows Edition Product activation was introduced in Norton Antivirus 2004, addressing the estimated 3.6 million counterfeit Norton products sold. An alphanumeric code is generated to identify a computer's configuration, which ties in with the product key. Users are allowed to activate their product five times with the same product key. Spyware and adware detection and removal was introduced to the 2005 version, with the tagline anti-spyware edition. The tagline was dropped in later releases. However, Norton Antivirus 2009 Classic does not include spyware or adware detection. The classic edition is marketed alongside Norton Antivirus 2009, which does include spyware and adware detection. Existing users of the 2006, 2007, 2008, and 2009 versions can upgrade to the latest 2010 version without buying a new subscription. Upgrading will preserve the number of days left on a user's subscription. Version 2006 the redesigned main graphical user interface aggregates information in a central user interface. Connect reports the Norton Protection Center, while useful, attempts to advertise additional products. To further facilitate detection of zero-day malware, Bloodhound disassembles a variety of programming languages, and scans code for malicious instructions using predefined algorithms. Internet Explorer homepage hijacking protection was introduced in this release as well. However notably missing is search engine hijacking protection. Knet highlighted Norton Antivirus 2006's noticeable impact on system performance. Operating system requirements call for Windows 2000 Service Pack 3 or Windows XP. 150 megabytes of free space and a 300 MHz processor is required under either operating system. 
128 megabytes of RAM is required under Windows 2000, while 256 megabytes is required in Windows XP. Version 2007, Norton Antivirus was released on September 12, 2006. Simant revised Norton Antivirus with the goal of reducing high system resource utilization. Windows Vista compatibility was introduced in this release as well. Despite having about 80% of the code rewritten, Connect reports mixed results in performance testing. Windows 2000 compatibility was dropped from this release. Compatibility with 32-bit versions of Windows Vista was added to this release with a patch from Simantk. Hardware requirements under Vista call for 150 megabytes free space, an 800 megahertz processor and 512 megabytes RAM. Requirements under Windows XP similarly call for 150 megabytes free space, a 300 megahertz processor, and 256 megabytes of RAM. Version 2008, Norton Antivirus 2008 was released on August 28, 2007. Emphasizing malware prevention, new features include Sonar, which looks for suspicious application behavior. This release adds real-time exploit protection, preventing attackers from leveraging common browser and application vulnerabilities. When installed in 32-bit versions of Windows XP Service Pack 2, 300 megabytes of free space, a 300 megahertz processor, and 256 megabytes of RAM is required. When installed in 32-bit and 64-bit versions of Windows Vista, 300 megabytes of free space, an 800 megahertz processor, and 256 megabytes of RAM is needed. Version 2009 Norton Antivirus 2009 was released on September 8, 2008. Addressing performance issues, over 300 changes were made, with a zero-impact goal. Benchmarking conducted by Passmark Software Proprietary Limited highlights its 47-second install time, 32-second scan time, and 5 MB memory utilization. It should be noted Simant funded the benchmark test and provided some scripts used to benchmark each participating antivirus software. The security status and settings are now displayed in a single main interface. A CPU usage monitor displays the total CPU utilization and Norton CPU usage in the main interface. Other features include Norton Insight, a whitelisting technology which cuts scanning times by mapping known safe files using information from an online database. To address malware response times, updates are delivered updates 5 to 15 minutes. However, such updates are not tested by Symantec and may cause false positives or incorrectly identify files as malicious. The exploit scanner found in the 2007 and 2008 versions was dropped from this release. When installed in 32-bit versions of Windows XP Service Pack 2, 150 MB of free space, a 300 MHz processor, and 256 MB of RAM is required. When installed in 32-bit or 64-bit versions of Windows Vista, 150 megabytes of free space, an 800 megahertz processor, and 512 megabytes of RAM is required. Two variations on Norton Antivirus 2009 are also marketed by Symantec. The gaming edition provides finer control over when Norton downloads updates and allows components of the suite to be disabled either manually or automatically when the computer enters full screen mode. The classic edition cannot find or remove adware and spyware. Version 2010. Version 17.0 was released on September 9, 2009. Several features have been updated in this release, including Sonar, now dubbed Sonar 2. It now uses more information to determine if an application is truly malicious. Norton Insight can present users with information about the origins, activities, and performance of applications along with reputation data. A new feature codenamed Autospy helps users understand what Norton did when malware was found. Previous releases removed threats on site and quietly warned users, potentially confusing when users are deceived in downloading rogue security software. Much of this information is placed on the back of the main window. A toggle button switches between the sides. Symantec has also added Windows 7 support. 
Aside from that, Symantec has also added the Norton Download Insight to prevent drive-by-drive -drive downloads. Version 2011 Version 2012 Version 2013 Version 2014 Criticism FBI Cooperation The FBI confirmed the active development of Magic Lantern, a Kelliger intended to obtain passwords to encrypted email and other documents during criminal investigations. Magic Lantern was first reported in the media by Bob Sullivan of MSNBC on November 20, 2001 and by Ted Bridis of the Associated Press. The FBI intends to deploy Magic Lantern in the form of an email attachment. When the attachment is opened, it installs a Trojan horse on the suspect's computer, which is activated when the suspect uses PGP encryption, often used to increase the security of sent email messages. When activated, the Trojan will log the PGP password, which allows the FBI to decrypt user communications. Symantec and other major antivirus vendors have whitelisted the Magic Lantern Trojan, rendering their antivirus products, including Norton Antivirus, incapable of detecting it. Concerns around this whitelisting include uncertainties about Magic Lantern's full surveillance potential and whether hackers could subvert it and redeploy it for purposes outside of law enforcement. Graham Cooley, a technology consultant from Sophos, said we have no way of knowing if it was written by the FBI, and even if we did, we will in a Euro unregistered trademark to know whether it was being used by the FBI or if it had been commandeered by a third party. Another reaction came from Mark Mayfret, chief technology officer and co-founder of EI Digital Security who states, our customers are paying us for a service, to protect them from all forms of malicious code. It is not up to us to do law enforcement's job for them so we do not, and will not, make any exceptions for law enforcement malware or other tools. Proponents of Magic Lantern argue the technology would allow law enforcement to efficiently and quickly decrypt time-sensitive messages protected by encryption schemes. Implementing Magic Lantern does not require physical access to a suspect's computer, unlike Carnivore, a predecessor to Magic Lantern since physical access to a computer would require a court order. FBI spokesman Paul Bresson, in response to a question about whether Magic Lantern also needed a court order to deploy, would only say like all technology projects or tools deployed by the FBI it would be used pursuant to the appropriate legal process. Update disables legitimate software. On January 28, 2010 Symantec antivirus update marked Spotify as a Trojan horse disabling the software across millions of PCs. Product support, retail customers report slow and indifferent service on bugs. Examples include a faulty error message stating current subscriptions had expired. Users received an error stating your virus protection cannot be updated. This error occurred after an update to the software and refused to allow daily updates. Though the bug was reported in 2004, it was not corrected for the 2005 or 2006 versions. Another incident occurred in May 2007, when Norton Antivirus flagged components of a Pegasus email client as malicious, rendering the program corrupted. Symantec customer service addressed the problem by running through a checklist of troubleshooting steps which were not always successful. Faulty update, on July 25, 2006, Symantec released a faulty update for Norton Antivirus 2006 users. Users reported an on-screen message stating Norton Antivirus 2006 does not support the repair feature. Please uninstall and reinstall. Symantec claimed the faulty update was downloaded to customers between 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. on July 25, 2006. Symantec developed a workaround tool and has listed troubleshooting steps, available here. The company released a statement, stating they expected to deliver a repair patch to affected users by Monday, July 31, 2006. Uninstallation Norton Antivirus has been criticized for refusing to uninstall completely, leaving unnecessary files behind. Another issue is versions prior to 2009 installed live update, which updates Norton branded software, separately. The user must uninstall both Norton Antivirus and the live update component manually. The live update component is purposely left behind to update other Norton branded products, if present. In response, 
Simant developed the Norton removal tool to remove leftover registry keys and values along with files and folders. However, neither root of uninstallation will remove subscription data, preserved to prevent users from installing multiple trial copies. SYMNRT can only remove these Norton programs, Norton Anti-Spam 2004 and 2005, Norton Antivirus 2003 through 2012, Norton Ghost 2003, 9.0, 10.0, 12.0, 1AO and 15.0, Norton Go Back 3.1 through 4.2, Norton Internet Security 2003 through 2012, Norton Password Manager, Norton Personal Firewall 2003 through 2006, Norton System Works 2003 through 2009, Norton Confidential Online 2007, Norton Add-on Pack 1.0 Euro 4.0, Norton Save and Restore 1.0 through 2.0. Norton 360 slash Security Suite Business Suite 1.0 a Euro 5.0, Norton Safety Minder 1.0, Norton Safe Web 3.2. Once SYMNRT has started the removal process, it cannot be stopped. It is recommended to close all running programs prior to running SYMNRT. ACT and WinFax users are recommended to back up their databases before running SYMNRT. Incompatibilities with Zone Alarm, Norton Antivirus 2007 will not install alongside Zone Alarm. This incompatibility has caused annoyance for Norton customers who purchased Norton Antivirus 2007 with no prior warning or notice of the incompatibility. Simant recommends removing Zone Alarm, then reinstalling it with its Internet Worm Protection feature disabled which controls what applications can access the Internet and which protocols they can use to do so. PIFTSIX On March 9, 2009, some users of Norton Antivirus 2006 and 2007 experienced a firewall warning stating a Norton-associated file, PIFTSIX, was trying to connect to the Internet. Although this file was revealed to be a harmless diagnostic patch, the program gained attention in the media when Simonk removed posts from their forum concerning PIFTS. With no information available about the purpose of the program there was speculation that the program was malware or a backdoor. The SANS Internet Storm Center claimed to have spoken to a Simonk employee who has confirmed that the program is theirs, part of the update process and not intended to do harm. Graham Cooley a consultant from antivirus vendor Sophos found PIFTS connected to a Simantk server, forwarding product and computer information. On March 10, Simantk made an official response to the PIFTS program, claiming posts in the support forum were deleted due to forum spam rules. However the deletion of PIFTS-related posts began before the spam attacks. Simantk stated PIFTS itself was a diagnostic patch. Cole stated the purpose of the update was to help determine how many customers would need to be migrated to Windows 7 compatible versions of Norton Antivirus. PIFTS apparently was released without a digital signature to verify its identity, causing firewalls to prompt for permission when it attempted to connect to the Internet. Consumer Complaints Simantk has been criticized by some consumers for perceived ethical violations, including allegations that support technicians would tell customers that their systems were infected and needed a technician to resolve it remotely for an extra fee, then refused to refund when the customers alleged their systems had not actually been infected. Windows 8 Consumer Preview Compatibility Windows 8 Consumer Preview was released on February 29, 2012. Simantk has announced that Norton Antivirus and Internet Security, as well as the newest Norton 360 v6, will be compatible with Windows 8. Macintosh Edition, Norton Antivirus 11 for Mac introduced support for Mac OS X v10.5 Leopard platform, with the capability to detect both Macintosh and Windows malware. Other features include a vulnerability scanner, which blocks attackers from leveraging software exploits. Norton Antivirus 11 also includes the ability to scan within compressed or archived files, such as time capsule volumes. Operating requirements call for Mac OS X Tiger. A PowerPC or an Intel Core processor, 
128 megabytes of RAM, and 100 megabytes of free hard disk space are also required. Norton Antivirus Dual Protection for Mac is intended for Macintosh users with Windows running on their systems, using boot camp or virtualization software such as BMW ARE Fusion. It provides a license for both Norton Antivirus 11 with Norton Antivirus 2009. Comparison with other software, from the 2009 to 2012 editions, Symantec made huge changes to their product speed and performance. Norton products now have only two running processes, using about 24 megabytes of RAM. According to tests sponsored by Symantec, Passmark Security Benchmark 2012 Norton Antivirus and Norton Internet Security are the lightest suites available. AV-COMPARATIVES.org also tested these products and gave similar results. PCMAG recognizes 2011 and 2012 lines as the fastest and strongest in protection. Qualls tests of security software put Norton Internet Security 2009 in the first place. In 2011 test of Qualls, Norton Internet Security was the winner. Dennis Technology Labs confirms the performance and effectiveness of Norton 2011 and 2012 lines. Norton Antivirus vs. GCSB Amendment Bill on 14 August 2013 the Prime Minister of New Zealand John Key addressed what he identified as misinformation surrounding the GCSB Amendment Bill, claiming that the actions of the Government Communications Security Bureau were analogous to Norton Antivirus. See also Internet Security, Comparison of Antivirus Software, Comparison of Firewalls, References External links, Norton Antivirus for Windows Website Norton Antivirus for Mac website, free virus removal tool from Norton, Norton Partner Portal.